Well, it's the first day of school, so Premier Dalton McGuinty, who's fond of saying that a school is his favorite place in the world, was here at Ecole Pierre Elliott Trudeau in Toronto's West End to, to greet the students. Now, the choice of a French public school was a deliberate one on McGinty's part. He, he didn't even disagree when a reporter suggested to him that he, he wouldn't be very popular visiting a, an English public school in, in the city of Toronto right now. And that's because McGinty is involved in a, in a bitter pay dispute with teachers, with the Elementary Teachers Federation of Ontario and the Ontario Secondary School Teachers Federation. Now, McGinty has asked him to take a pay freeze and a, a partial salary grid freeze as well, as well as some cutbacks and benefits in order to help fight the deficit. But it's, it's put at odds with a group of, of workers who have long been strong supporters of his government. Well, I'm proud of our teachers, and I know that we've hit a bit of a, a rough patch, and that's not unusual when it comes to, if you see what happens in the times of periods of economic constraint. And I think most teachers understand we've, we've got to make a choice, uh, and we can um, either um, put more money into to pay hikes or we can put more money into expanding full day kindergarten and keeping class sizes small, which by the way keeps hangs on the teacher's jobs. And when we expand full day kindergarten, that creates more teaching jobs. So we can't do both. We can't put money into pay increases and protect the quality and indeed enhance the quality of education we provide our kids. So at this point I'm saying to teachers, just for a couple of years, let's hit the pause button on pay. And by the way, this public sector pay pause applies to MPPs, the teachers, the doctors, and everybody in the broader public sector. So we're all in this together. We all have to be part of the solution. Now, to complicate that, uh, McGinty is also uh, on the eve of two important by-elections in Kitchener, Waterloo, and in Vaughan on Thursday night. Now, whether teachers will support him or not will, could make the difference in whether the Liberals regain a majority in the legislature. For the Toronto Sun, I'm Jonathan Jenkins.